Well, welcome back to our video series on Microsoft Word 2010. In this video, I want to start showing you how you can customize your interface up here at the top. Now, there are two main areas that you're going to be able to work with to get commands. One is the ribbon interface right up here at the top. We're going to talk more about that in the next video. Right now, I want to focus our attention up here in the upper left-hand corner on this area that we call the Quick Launch Bar. Now, right now, there's actually just three commands in the Quick Launch Bar. There's the Save option, there's an Undo option, and there's also a Repeat option. The little Word icon here in the upper, le very upper left-hand corner isn't actually part of the Quick Launch menu. What it is is a menu that will allow you to close or work with the window size for the whole Word window. So I've got three commands right there. And the Save command is really useful. You can click that anytime you want to save your document. But we can make this Quick Launch a little bit more useful by customizing it. For example, let's say I want to have buttons up here for um, Open and Spell Check because I get to those quite frequently. I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow to the right of the Quick Launch area. And you're going to see I get quite a few options here. And these are just some of the, again, most common options that people add to that Quick Launch bar. So, for example, if I want a quick print icon, I can go ahead and click that, and you're going to see I get that little printer icon. So I can quickly print one copy of this document to whatever my default printer is. But if I click that drop down, you're also going to see I have more commands there. And if I click on that, this dialog box is going to appear. And from this dialog box, you can choose any command inside of Microsoft Word and add it to the Quick Launch bar. And you can also reorder and work with some of these options right over here. So let's go ahead and let's go find the two commands that we were going to add, the Open command and the Spell Check command. Now, by default, the set of commands you're looking at down here is set right here to popular commands. So I can see, I can scroll on down and you can see you know, all the commands that are there. If I go down a little bit farther, there's the open button. And that makes sense. Open's a fairly popular command. So I can go ahead and click on that and then click add. Now, you're going to notice that if you scroll down, obviously we don't have all the different commands that we can access. I've got spelling and grammar here, but let's pretend like I want to go ahead and grab some, uh, another command. If I click this drop down arrow, you're going to see I get a menu. And the most important options on this menu are right here, where you've got your tabs, and right here where it says All Commands. If I click on All Commands, I'm going to get an alphabetical listing of every single command inside of Microsoft Word. If I click on one of these tab options here, it's going to show me just commands from that particular tab. Now, I know that the spell check is actually on the Review tab. So when I click on Review, there's all the commands that are associated with that. And when I scroll down far enough, I see there's my spelling and grammar option. So I can go ahead and click on that and add that over here. Now, to change the order of your commands right up here, you're going to use these arrows right here. For instance, I'm going to move open up so that it's next to save. And you're going to see how I was just able to bump that up. I'm going to go ahead and do quick print. I'll bump that up in between save and undo and redo. And you're also going to see that we've got, um, again, spelling and grammar there. Now, if you want a little dividing line to separate your items, you can use the separator option here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And you see I've added a separator there. I'm going to go ahead and move that up so it separates undo and redo from these other commands right here. And I'm going to add another one in there. And that one I'm going to move down. So it sort of separates spelling and grammar from those other options there. And finally, if I wanted to remove an option, you know, let's say I'm going to go ahead and double click there. And now I've got comments. If I wanted to remove that, I could just simply click on it and click Remove, and it goes way out of my list. You also have a Reset option here. I can click on that, and I can choose to reset back to the factory default. And I can go ahead and click OK here, 
And now you're going to see those commands appear up in this quick launch area. So if I want to get to my open command, I just got to click right there on that open button and the open dialog box appears. I'm going to click cancel there. And if I was to click on the spell check option there, you're going to see it does a spell check and it actually told me that um, it's complete. So that's a, just a quick way to get to the commands you most frequently use. In the next video, we're going to look at this ribbon here and we're going to see how to customize that.